Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. Today we are going to play with my three most hated tier 10 medium tanks. Um, feel free to guess what we are going to play with because this is going to be interesting and maybe not the most popular choice from my side. And while you are guessing boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, um, what I want to share with you, I want to share with you the new feature of the index page, aka we have the tech tree in the index page overall so you can see the brighter picture of the vehicles which I rate good which I rate playable and so on so on right and in the same time obviously you can click on the tank you can find YouTube video easily equipment setup um, crew skills expectation values to get mark of excellence and field modifications you know exactly what i am talking about so feel free to check it out maybe you will find some good things for yourself and now without further ado let's go into the round number one and the first tank in the list is cs63 now i know this can be very weird for some of you uh, cs63 lovers out there but i think this tank is uh, very 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 overrated if i can say so sure thing this tank can be used in the clan wars and it is ideal tank but for the randoms um unfortunately but the gun handling is definitely horrible uh, the speed is great that's absolutely amazing but the gun handling is pretty much ruining absolutely all fun at least for me uh, and i truly want to highlight this boys and girls ladies and gentlemen and in the same time um Probably majority of the players who are playing with this tank, they are using bond equipment and the best uh, stuff which they can have, right? And for the casual player, at least uh, from uh, my point of view, this vehicle should be extremely hard tank to play with. Gun handling should treat you pretty badly. And if you are not spamming the full gold ammunition, the tank overall is definitely not the most fun tank to play with. Um, but one once again, this is only my opinion and this is what I think, right? Uh, skill, do you think there is uh, players who enjoy this tank? Oh yes, absolutely, undoubtedly. There is plenty of people who likes this tank and who can play with this tank very, very well. I know plenty of the fluffy super unicorns who are enjoying this vehicle to the maximum and this tank is the best tank for them, right? Um, but I am not one of them. Uh, skill, what do you think? Maybe this could be a skill issue. You are just simply not good enough to make this tank work. Could be, fellas. Maybe this is my fault and maybe I am just simply um, not that great to make this vehicle work. Obviously, we marked this tank long time ago whenever the tank came out, but I never liked this vehicle. Um, and I remember in the... Whenever I played Clan Wars and this was for the... Uh, for the last campaign um, I remember people cursing on this vehicle gun handling when they uh, when they could not hit anything for uh, from a point blank range right um, and uh, maybe I am just simply not patient enough or something uh, what is good about this tank DPM is good of this tank uh, like I said the mobility is good of this tank but the armor and the gun handling is just simply killing uh, this vehicle for me and uh, uh, I cannot look into this vehicle seriously if I can say so but once again boys and girls ladies and gentlemen this is only my my opinion about the tank right and if you like this tank there is nothing wrong about it um, and just enjoy yourself uh, playing with this vehicle right um, I just simply cannot make this tank work and this is not the tank for me um, yeah that's about it and this is what I really wanted to highlight of this tank fellas now can we get somehow involved in this game? I would love to say, oh yes, we can be a bit more involved, but unfortunately the situation is not so simple and I don't really think it is so easy to uh, punish enemies for their mistakes and for their stupidity in a way. Meanwhile, um, I, am, I believe you are very, very well aware of that, what is happening here, and I believe our team is losing by quite a humongous margin, but we still have have them 
okayish position here at night and it is not so simple to dig us out. Uh, we still have Emil who has a bit of hit points and we have some sniper schnitzels here and sniper schnitzel here. So in the, um, in the end we should be kind of alright. Once again, DPM of this tank is very, very nice, and this is not uh, the most horrible situation for us, so all we need to do, we need to be smart, and we cannot make a silly goose mistakes. Speaking about the silly goose mistakes, uh, there is one. Unfortunately, but the Scorpion managed to hit us, and that's what I'm talking about. This is so horrible. When you cannot trust the gun handling and you cannot hit your shots, it is madness. And I truly want to highlight this. I truly want to say that in the face, and it's just simply horrible. And at this point, I am just simply too late to escape from here, so I need to deal with what we have, and this is not a really a fun situation, fellas. Um, can you bounce shot or two with this tank? Sure thing, you can. You can bounce shot or two, uh, especially when enemies are hitting you into the frontal mantlet. This is pretty much only one um, place from where you can bounce in a way, right? But look at this gun handling, and I'm running bond equipment. And I am running bond, bond equipment, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. So once again, um, I can't stress this enough to highlight how bad gun handling of this vehicle actually is. And I am saying that multiple times. I am very, very well aware of that. And uh, um, I hope this is, uh, this is uh, uh, understandable what is the main reason why I do not like this tank. Uh, this that much right all and all the score of this battle is not horrible and we are playing all right i would say right uh, in the end of the day we are having a decent performance here or semi-decent performance 3.5 thousand damage and 1.4 thousand assisting damage but this tank is just simply not for me so forgive me playing with 140 i would get better result playing with leo one i would get better result playing with stb i would get better result playing with a pattern i would get better result and so on so on and i truly want to say why i do not like this tank so let's teleport into the scoreboard shall we and we are back fellas, so what do we have? We have 3.9 thousand damage, 1.4 thousand assisting damage, we are second by experience, we are first by the damage, uh, we made 23 thousand credits, but once again, I just do not feel this tank, I just do not. So, without further ado, let's go for a tank number 2. And the second tank for today is going to be Centurion Action Shit. Scale, I did not saw that one coming, really? Fellas, Centurion action shit has, in my opinion, a lot of things which is going for this tank. You have gun depression, you have speed, and it would be quite a good tank, but there is one but. Unfortunately, the gun handling is... <coughs> I said the truth. Unfortunately, gun handling is not really reliable. And unfortunately, the armor is not really working that well. So even though if you are using the gun depression, it doesn't mean you are not going to get penetrated by the enemies, right? And it is truly worth thing to highlight. As you can see yourself, um, enemy centurion is just showing us some love. Uh, and we cannot change it. We cannot do absolutely anything uh, about it. We just need to take one for the team. And this is very worth thing to highlight. Obviously, we are not going to give up. We will try to get as much use as we physically and possibly can here. And we will try to play hold down to the maximum, fellas. That's the whole goal of this vehicle. Um, what this tank has? This tank has 390 alpha damage, 268 millimeters of penetration, extremely good shell velocity. And gold has 330 millimeters of penetration. And everything kind of be fine with this tank, but it is just simply not. Once again, maybe it is only me who does not understand how to play with this vehicle, right? 
this could be very very possible but uh, whenever I do not feel vehicle I am not afraid to say so and I am not afraid to highlight this meanwhile the high explosive ammunition is also very very good 105 millimeters of penetration is amazing for this tank it truly is you can penetrate STB into cupola you can penetrate STB overall um, on the flat ground right you can do many 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 bad things for the enemies um, but once again I simply do not enjoy this vehicle and now instead of barking on this tank so much let's try to make this vehicle work and let's try to show what we can do with this tank right beautiful some assisting damage for our sniper schnitzels and we have plenty of them over there which is very very good stuff um and i believe we could get a bit involved here what do i want to see and what kind of position do i want to take i would love to go here into the middle hopefully from the middle we can uh, play relatively aggressively and hopefully from the middle we can punish leopard or amx 30 if he is playing somewhere over there right i am trying to find a decent angle but as you can see it is not so simple an enemy as um punishing us for our stupidity and that's my fault i am very very well aware of that but i am not going to cry over this i am still feeling relatively fine Meanwhile, what will happen here, we should be able to eliminate the Samax 30 whenever he is going to go like this. Oh, you sneaky bugger. Oh, you sneaky bugger. That's okay, fellas. No complaints, no regrets. This Ru is doing pretty good job and we need to appreciate this guy playing well. Um, and this is only the start for us. Hopefully this is only the start for us, right? I still want to see him peeking, I still want to see him making one or another bad choice, uh, if obviously it is possible. Soon we are going to get Amorak back. One more thing which I truly want to highlight about this tank, this tank has extremely weak Amorak. And I truly want to believe that and I truly believe in that. The Amorak of this vehicle is very very weak. Now. Even though if you are playing hold down, you can get penetrated without bigger problems whatsoever by the um, by pretty much anyone. At least that's what I want to believe and that's what I believe in. Uh, and I know it might sound very, very weird, but this is how I feel like. Um, so when I am saying I do not trust this tank armor, there is a reason why I am saying that. Meanwhile, luckily we managed to penetrate this Ru, which is very good stuff for us and I hope we can get some uh, more use of all this right I see they are clicking us that's okay even though even though we are losing a lot of hit points for the enemy Arta, I do not really think I could do something different here. And at the same time, I kind of need to escape from this, but this is going to be very, very, very hard. Meanwhile, Ru is spotting us. That's completely fine. Let's try to escape just like so. Maybe we will be able to do that before enemy Arta will reload and Arta is killing us. <sighs> well... Centurion action shit with a defeat. Uh, have you noticed the pattern? I'm playing with the tanks which I don't like. I am explaining why I do not like the tanks and we are losing game after game after game. Shame. So far two tanks, two defeats if I'm not mistaken. Let's go for uh, the scoreboard. And we are back fellas. Unfortunately with a defeat but we have solid 3000 damage, 1.4 thousand assisting damage we are second by experience first by the damage 16,000 profits so it's completely fine and now without further ado let's teleport into the game with the last my most hated medium tank in the tier 10 did you guess which tank it is going to be let's go and we are back right into the action with the max 30b i was truly considering go uh, going for one to one but my max 30b is just simply worse tank for me so let's talk about this tank what is bad of this vehicle gun handling is very very trollish um 
Kupolais bigger um, than the house and most of the maps, right? So you can easily get penetrated whenever you are playing fully hold down, right? Uh, plus on top of that, Arta can penetrate you. Um, it is simply not the greatest combination of the things, and uh, and th this is the main reason why I do not really like this vehicle. Um, this tank is kind of equal for me, like. Centurion action shit is, as wrong as it sounds. I think this tank is kind of similar with Centurion action shit. Oi, oi. This is very weird setup, uh, speaking about this game. I believe we can penetrate enemies couple of times here, and this is nuts what enemy team is doing, to be fair with you. Obviously, this is only the start for us, and a pretty beautiful start, if you would ask me. This is the main reason why are you not pushing in front like enemies are doing here. It is just way too great of a risk for you to do so. As you can see, enemy 260s, both of them are taking one for the team, and we are bursting them like there is no tomorrow. So, let's talk about this game. What enemies did they messed up, okay? They messed up a big time. I would love to say they are going to be able to uh, somehow switch this game and be able to win this, but they won't. They won't be, okay? Um, now... Some things needs to be said. This map is called You Push, You Lose, right? And what map, um, what you can do in the map which says You Push, You Lose. You are not pushing. You are not pushing, fellas. Even though we are lucky in this game and we got a, a twice fire, right? Which would um, uh, say, oh, that's amazing performance. And indeed it is. I am very lucky and I'm happy with this game. But it is not changing the fact that tank is not great, fellas. Uh, it truly isn't, okay? And uh, it doesn't really matter what um, what we would do. Um, and what kind of game we would have? 10,000, 15,000, 17,000, uh, all hit points uh, claimed. I still won't change my mind about this vehicle. Same thing uh, about the CS63 and same thing uh, about the Saturn action shit. It doesn't matter how good of the game we will have or what kind of great session we will have. I will still have the same opinion. That's what I'm trying to say, fellas. Um, anyways, the weirdest part of all this our team is getting slaughtered uh, and the funny thing is we started everything by eliminating four not one tanks but four from the game right and our st uh, team is still taking kind of one for the team here um can we change something no unfortunately we cannot and i am feeling relatively uh well with all this stuff uh but um this is not going to be easy. I assume our team decided to make a bit of pressure and this is definitely not paying off. Uh, now one more thing to say. Uh, unfortunately boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, you can see that yourself how the gun handling is behaving with this vehicle. It is not ideal and this is very, very, very far away from being decent, okay? And this is very important thing to highlight whenever I am speaking about one or another tank. I just need to say things like this. I cannot keep this uh, in secret, you know. Uh, I cannot uh, simply... Maybe you won't notice. Maybe I can present this tank like a good tank. No, this is not how am I doing the things, fellas. Okay, let's see. How about this Mr. Centurion playing here? I'm very, very well aware of the Kranwagen. Um, he is a very tough cookie to crack. Uh, he is very uh, solid tank and obviously we cannot do absolutely anything about this. But it's okay. Let it be step by step, little by little. Unfortunately, our TVP got slaughtered and... Um, this is not looking that great as I would love to say it is. Meanwhile, 1-1B one one is crossing through the middle, so we are trying to hit him uh, in the face. Unfortunately, I am missing the very first shot, which sucks, but it is how it is, and now we are getting involved, right? 
I believe we should be able to kill him without bigger problems whatsoever. He's a strong player, but he is not going to be able to kill us. At least that's what I want to believe, because we will die for a crown wagon. Well, once again, nothing to talk, nothing to say. It doesn't matter how good we are starting everything is. Uh, uh, we are still getting banged in the end of the day, right? This is our fate for playing with a bad tanks, or um, I suppose to say, this is the car for, to, uh, for calling tanks bad. Let's teleport into the scoreboard and let's claim another uh, defeat. And we are back, fellas. Yet another defeat. 5.5 thousand damage, 300 assisting damage, um, 3 kills, top by the damage, top by experience, making 5,000 credits and yeah. It's just not meant to be. Um, I can tell you very, uh, things very, very simple way. Amex 30B, Centurion and CS, all of those uh, vehicles, they tripled. Bam! 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 This is what they did um, in order to say skill. You know what? This is our karma for you for telling us we are, we are bad and we are your most hated tanks. That's it. That's all I have to say. So thank you very much for watching, fellas. I appreciate you. Thank you very much for everything. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Watching YouTube videos, obviously being extremely supporting via the Patriot or via the YouTube channel by clicking that join button, by uh, buying bananas for the index page in a way. I appreciate you and without you it would not be possible. So thank you very much for everything and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.